Encore en girant, en collé, dans la guetonne de l'aumônier. Hello, friends of the French Foreign Legion. I am greeting you. <laughs> if you hear some noise from my right side, don't be afraid. It's just water falling down from the mountains. You know, I'm in deep Germany. It's a very nice uh, landscape here. I love this place. <laughs> okay, coming to the first question of the day and my answer. And the question is from Mr. Vladan Mirkovic. Hello, Vladan. I'm greeting you on my channel. Okay, your question was that you have a, a certain kind of illness, you know, kind of rare disease. And I opened the link that you sent me. Uh, and by the way, you have flat feet and your eyes are not in, in a good shape. Uh, I opened the link and had a look on this disease. So my advice to you is do not join the French for Legion, okay? With this disease, with this illness, you cannot join the French for Legion. And I think uh, all medics, you know, all the doctors, all the medicines will tell you the same, the same thing as I did now. Okay, for you, I think friend for religion, not in, not in this life. I'm sorry to tell you this, huh? let on. Go on doing what you are doing, have a diet, make sport, be with your beloved ones, but don't try to join the French foreign legion. Bye bye, Vladan. <laughs> So the next question comes from Harsh. Hello Harsh, I'm greeting you on my channel. And your question is, Dear Mr. Gast, five years ago I suffered a palate surgery. Can I join the French for Legion or is this a problem? So Harsh, also for you, uh, good news, a palate surgery, if it's well done, no problem to join the French for Legion. So good luck to you, Amitié Legionnaire, and one more time, welcome on my channel. The next question came from Daniel Sortam. Hello Daniel, I am greeting you on my channel. You are very welcome. And your question is, if I get a new name, you know, a kind of anonymat, a fake name if you like to, uh, if you like this word better, can I keep this name after leaving the French Foreign Legion? So, uh, when I left the French Foreign Legion, can I keep the same name, fake name, or uh, sous identité déclaré or anonymous. No, you cannot. Huh? This name is only when you are within the ranks of the French for Legion and it's to protect you and it's to protect the institution Légion étrangère. Huh? After a certain while, when you are in, you will have RSM, what means Rectification uh, Situation Militaire. Then they will give you back your real name. Huh? This could happen after 10 months, could happen after three years, and this could happen after 20 years. Yeah? But when you leave the French Foreign Legion, they will give you back all your papers, your passports, your ID cards, and they will give, give you back your real name. You cannot stay with your fake name. I hope I could give a good answer. Daniel, good luck to you. Bye bye. <clears throat> and the next question comes from Mr. Dominic. P. Hello, Dominic. I'm greeting you on my channel. You are very welcome here. <laughs> and your question is, dear Mr. Thomas, what kind of specialization can I have after having joined this, the regiment, my regiment, you know, 2nd Rep, 2nd Rep, 13th DBLA, and so on and so on. So, uh, first, the first specialization you will have is the specialization of a fighter. Huh? You can be a, a saboteur, a destructor, you can be a sniper, you can be a, a sharpshooter, you can be a tankist, you know, all this stuff. You can, can be a blanger, a diver, you can be a parachutist. This is the first thing. This is your military specialization. But you can choose also a lot of normal civil specialization, like mechanician, like cook, like IT specialist, like medic, medic, medic uh, specialist, you know what I mean. 
and you can be also kind of uh, butcher, kind of serveur, you know, waiter, uh, kind of cook, everything. All the, all the jobs you can find in the civil life, you can find in the French Foreign Legion. Yes, there's no, uh, you have some imagination? That's it? Huh? I hope my answer was good, <laughs> good enough for you. Chiva Barati, hello Chiva on my channel, I'm greeting you. And you want to know something about the psychological test? And uh, the second question is, I smoked a lot of marijuana, will this be a problem? Okay, coming first to the second one, to the marijuana or hashish, or whatever they call, you might call this stuff. Normally it's no problem, but take care, dead. Be aware, take care that a couple of months before joining the French Foreign Legion, you did not smoke no anything, nothing, no, zero. A huh? couple of months before, <whistles> solution zero. This is my advice to you. And about the psychological test, nobody will tell you something about these tests because they are kept secret. And this is to make sure that all applicants have the same chances to join the French Foreign Legion. And I think this is a good one. This is very good. It's a good procedure. So do not try to find something. Do not ask. You will never find out. Huh? Even I, I cannot have some information about the psychological test. Good luck to you. Have a nice life in your, in your life with your beloved ones. Bye bye. Amitié légionnaire. Hello, Jérôme. Best. On pantalon. <laughs> the next question comes from Mr. Prival Bandari. Hello, Prival Bandari. I'm greeting you. How are you, Prival? I hope you're fine. And your question is, dear Mr. Gast, I have some important gaps between my teeth. Will they reject me or will they admit me or will, can I crew, join the French Foreign Legion with gaps in my, or between my teeth? Brywell, good news for you. Gaps between the teeth are no problem. So, good luck to you. Just go to France, try, try your luck to join the French Foreign Legion. I am with you. Bye-bye, huh? see you next. Huh?